this is a year in review of my 2016 or 17 I forget now uh, rally sport skern that I bought from Amazon and one year into it I still love this bad boy I still love it um, not too many upgrades just a few that I wanted to get done done I was able to put a two point what size are these? Two point four. Oh, my bad. Excuse me. Uh, twenty nine and two point five inch in, and yeah, got enough clearance, so I'm good with that. Front and rear. Um, uh, I had bought Maxxis Minions front and back. I don't anymore. Um, moving on. Everything is pretty much stock except for the tires, the pedals, and I finally got myself a dropper post for my Christmas. Installed it. I want to put a video on it, but I saw somebody else had a video, so I didn't need to do all that. So I decided to go with the PNW. I think it's called a Comrade. And since my system or my frame only suits an external dropper, I figured the cable routing would complement it because I used the entire cable that it came with. Down and under, up and over, and that's a little bit of a... Mm, uh, that's questionable, but it does its job. It stays put. And it... I routed with the rest of the wires and covered it up with this little guard that I got from uh, Roswell Bicycle for about 12 bucks. It does its job. Everything does what it's supposed to do. Uh, I've crashed on this a couple times, rode a couple races, got the balance cars to prove it, but it's all good. And my only semi regret non regret is I bought a a phone holder that goes directly in the center which I thought would have been a good idea and it is and is not because the phone kept moving every time I you know moved because of this I even tried to zip tie it down but that didn't last too long so I got rid of the holder part but I'm able to keep this simply because it acts as a holder for my backpack so got this big old backpack right here and when i don't want it on my back or when i'm resting or whatever i just i'm not gonna do that i can strap it to the front like so yeah just picture it in your mind and it holds the bag for me while i go into the bag and get whatever I need out of it and just put it back on my back and keep it moving. So, but yeah, uh, I was in. I'm trying to do all the wrenching myself as far as repairs, and some work, some don't. I need to take it for a tune up for my suspension, but everything still shifts the way it's supposed to, everything moves the way it's supposed to. Uh, I love this thing. Yeah, I might get a new seat post, I mean a new seat, I might get a new saddle, that's about it, but yeah, so let's start it from the front, Tektro GL a German SL, I don't know how you pronounce it, whatever, uh, hydraulic bricks, uh, rock shock, right recon, yeah. got some dirt damage, um, Max Minion tires, like I said. Uh, a Fox a Float CTO uh, rear suspension. 100, and 100 mil in the front and 100 mil in the rear. Uh, FSA shims. Forties pedals. Forte um, bottle holder. But I'm going to take this off because I got that big old bag. I don't need that. Um, this. 
the cassette is 11 by 32, I want to say, with uh, SLX red railer. And like I said, a PNW drop seat poster. I love this thing. Yeah. Not bad for an Amazon bike that I paid $997 for. Uh, I forget, but nine hundred something. But yeah, Rally Sport Skern. I need to get this back out on the trail. It's too cold for me. Sixty degrees is where I draw the limit. I'm, it's too cold for for riding. And well, there's the uh, Mongol Sortero modified that as well. I'm gonna put that as a one by ten. Right now, it's a one by eight. Uh, custom made chain uh, tensioner, you know, but got to get my MacGyver on and uh, butt saver as well. I am gonna upgrade the rear shock because I think that is losing pressure or oil, it's a hydraulic oil dampening, but yeah, <sighs> anyway, there you go.